Last summer, Woodbury once again earned a spot on Money Magazine's Best Places to Live in the U.S. list, one of our many noteworthy achievements of the last year. After reflecting on this accolade, I thought it was appropriate to share more about our other key accomplishments of 2021. The state of Minnesota released its long-term water supply plan to address per- and polyfluoral alkyl substances, also known as PFAS, contamination in the East Metro drinking water. As we continue to digest the state's findings and final determinations regarding distribution of the remaining $700 million of the 2018 3M settlement proceeds, it's important to note that the water delivered to our customers today continues to meet state and federal standards and guidelines for PFAS. However, on Wednesday, January 12th, the Minnesota Department of Health issued a health advisory for levels of PFAS in a Woodbury Municipal Water Production Well. The city officially removed this impacted well from service upon receipt of the health advisory from the Minnesota Department of Health. With this well being taken out of service, Woodbury's drinking water continues to meet state and federal standards and guidelines for PFAS. PFAS levels in additional city wells may be trending toward receipt of health advisories from the MDH. Woodbury will continue working with MDH to monitor, assess, and samples its water for PFAS. If MDH does issue health advisories on an additional well or wells, the city will immediately remove them from service until they can be treated. The public will be informed if and when new changes are detected. Meanwhile, I'm proud to report that we have already started implementing solutions. This work includes acquiring land for a long-term water treatment facility, implementing preliminary engineering and treatment technology pilot study for long-term water treatment facility, exploring expansion of the temporary water treatment plant capacity for treating more existing wells, and constructing an additional production well to make up for the well that we've had to permanently take offline due to PFAS contamination. Constructing a centralized long-term water treatment facility is much more substantial than building a temporary water treatment facility. Work is expected to take five or more years. The city will continue to advocate for residents and businesses as we work with state agencies to fully review and implement the water supply plan. And we will continue to keep the public informed as we learn more. Details about the history of PFAS in Woodbury Wells and testing results through 2021 are available on the city's website and at Minnesota's 3M PFAS settlement website. In October 2021, we officially launched our Police Mental Health Coordinated Response, collaborating with Washington County social workers to provide a co-response option for our residents. The intent is to connect people in crisis and their families to resources and professionals in mental health and substance use to help them cope for the long term. Woodbury's assigned social worker, Angie Shackleton, who works full-time with the Woodbury Police Department, a second social worker, Brooke Hendrickson, is assigned to Washington County Sheriff's Office, where she co-responds with county deputies. Both Brooke and Angie are licensed independent clinical social workers, the highest licensure in Minnesota a social worker can obtain. In August 2021, Chris Klein was named our new EMS Fire Chief. He was promoted from his Fire EMS Commander post. He will also be overseeing an important service transition as we move to cross-train all of our paramedics into paramedic firefighters. This new staffing model is important for providing emergency response to an increasing number of medical calls today and into the future. In Woodbury, more than 70% of fire emergency medical service calls are medical related. As the average age of our community members continues to rise, we expect our calls for medical services to continue to increase. We continue to see new resident construction across the city's landscape in 2021. Growth is a fundamental part of the history and the future of Woodbury. From our early days as a city, local officials anticipated growth and implemented long-term planning strategies that allowed us to carefully manage growth. The residential growth we are seeing today, both single family and multifamily homes, is consistent with our long-term planning goals and strategies. Since the early 1980s, the city has had a comprehensive plan for future development. The plan, updated on a regular basis, provides the basic framework for development, including policies related to the extension of utilities, roads, and other city infrastructure, and the facilities and services needed to accommodate development. When fully developed, we expect Woodbury's population to be close to 90,000 residents. If you would like to learn more about residential and commercial development in Woodbury, check out our interactive development map on the city's website. Looking forward, we pledge our best as we tackle new challenges in the year ahead. With your support and participation, 
we will be celebrating many more accomplishments at the end of 2022. Happy New Year.